How did famed architect Charles Bullfinch help build an Arlington church 77 years after he died? Through generosity and irony, a belfry designed by Bullfinch and built in 1810 found a home atop the Calvary Church in 1921. Its story offers a unique blend of characters and events important to Arlington, to Boston, and even to the nation. This fascinating story of the Belfry's travels from the Boylston Market to the Bunker Hill Brewery and finally to Calvary Church was presented by Brian Rojo on October 26th. But rarely is architecture defined by more than one place and more than one time. And that's what makes Calvary's Belfry so special. Uh, an amazing story that brings together different periods in our history and different um, you know, aspects of our history from um, early Boston to Prohibition to the Methodist movement. I mean, it's, you know, it's a fascinating story. When the Boylston Market was demolished in 1887, the Belfry was salvaged and moved to the Bunker Hill Brewery, where it remained until Prohibition closed the brewery. As ironic as it is that Methodists led the temperance movement, which closed the Bunker Hill Brewery, are the similarities between Calvary Church and the Boylston Market. One of the things he did that I was not expecting was to link the original building and its purposes, the Boylston Market, with the community commitment and involvement engagement of Calvary Church. Keeping the 203-year-old landmark looking good takes the occasional overhaul. You know, we're undertaking another restoration project, so the community's going to know a little bit more about it again. Uh, but I hope next time they don't forget about it. The last restoration project back in the 1980s took three years and $70,000. The Belfry is something that the, the town values and looks to as a landmark. And I hope that we'll continue to be able to share what we learn as we move towards repairing and restoring the Belfry.